Hi guys, um, and welcome to another tutorial. Um, uh, yeah, sorry, I've lost the words. Um, today we're going to be, I'm, I'm going to be teaching you how to add blur to individual areas of a video in Cyberlink PowerDirector 11 Ultimate. Um, um, yeah, so let's open up PowerDirector. Now, some of this video might be a bit, um, jerky, because, and slow frame rate and stuff, because my computer isn't really designed to run PowerDirector and my video recording software at the same time, so, can I just... I think I'm recording. Yeah, that's good. Um, so, it, yeah, as I said, it might be a bit jerky. Um... So let's import my video. Um, so I've got it here. This is my video. I'm gonna put it on there. Into the truck. I've put it in the timeline. Let's play it. Um, hello everyone. Um, and today I'm gonna be showing you how to open up and log into minecraft minecraft down here yes um i hope you like my new desktop background um it's i, I think it's pretty cool um last time you saw my desktop background it was just a plain old boring screenshot of minecraft, from minecraft so this looks probably a bit more professional to you so let's start by opening up minecraft <laughs> Sorry if that tune's copyright, I hope it isn't. Okay, so I'm going to type my password. And you're not allowed to look at my password. So it's logging in. And then, wait for it, wait for it, BOOM! There you are. It's Minecraft. It's so amazing. Bye. Oh wait, actually, and um, to close it, you just press click. Yeah, bye. Leave a comment below saying whether you like my new screensaver because it's it's pretty cool. So yeah. Yo, so um <coughs> Yeah, so I've played it to you and um again I'm lost for words. I don't think I've really planned this video very well, so I'm just gonna try and keep talking. Um so yeah, I'm gonna be teaching you how to add blur to a single area of the video. Um, to start with, we're going to go to the b part of the video where we want the blur effect to start. Um, so, so we've got Minecraft then. Okay, so I am going to be blurring my username here. So I'm going to go back in frames. To the first frame where it comes in. Because you can't really see it there. I'll start it there. Okay, now I'm going to go to the um, effects room, blur, and drag it down into the timeline. And now everything's gone blurry. Oh no, it's a disaster. No, it's not. Um, so. Okay, I'm just going to take down the degree to about one or two, I think I'll leave it at um, one for now, and I'm also going to click mask, and now I've got a rectangular thingamajig here, and I'm going to move it down. To the area which I want to blur out. So this might be quite hard because I can't really see it very well. It's quite small, but in theory, it's about there. Um, can't guarantee this will be very accurate, but uh, that's a bit. Better, um, 
so there it's sort of just um, blurred there so leave it at that and now we need to keyframe through it and she'll go on the keyframe thingy it looks fine there I think we need to move it down a bit Okay, that's much better. Um, go to the next frame. Keep keyframing through it. Okay, so that blur is probably going to be good until it goes full screen. There. So. That's good, that is not good. So let's change the mask. It's uh, not perfect. Drag it up a bit, drag it up a bit. Oh, I can't. Ah, it's so hard to get this perfect when it's so small. Tried making it bigger, but it doesn't work. So. There, that'll do. Um, and then keep keyframe through it there. I need to change where it blurs there. Change the mask. you have to sort of get it perfect and uh, um this is actually a good example of something that you probably shouldn't do is make your try to well try to make your username as big as it can possibly go so i think i'll play it now Dragging the blur effect roughly where I think it should be, and then obviously I'll refine it later. So I type my password. Oh, that's bad, that's bad. Drag it out, drag it out. Okay, so it's just disappeared. So we'll keep keyframing back, and that is fine. So we just need to crop it down to the correct length. So here, I think that we found that was good. Okay. Um. Ah. needs to be one or two frames longer so just drag it out a little little bit Dang it. Okay. okay so that was perfect watch it Oh dear. Okay, so this isn't working very well because of the way the keyframes are set out. So it looks rather like I'm going to have to go back through and edit them some more. Um, keyframe.
Okay. Now let's move our mask down. We'll move our mask back to where we want it. And in theory, this should look a bit better. Okay, that's looking good. Um, go back to the beginning. Okay, so it goes like that, and boom! It is good! Good! I'm just going to check the one frame where it goes in the corner. There, that frame. Yep, that's blurred out fine. So, we have now done it correctly. Done it all good. Let's watch the final edited video. Hello everyone, um, and today I'm going to be showing you how to open up and log into Minecraft. Minecraft down here, yes. Um, I hope you like my new desktop background. Um, it's I, I think it's pretty cool. Um, last time you saw my desktop background, it was just a plain old boring screenshot of Minecraft, from Minecraft, so this looks probably a bit more professional to you. So let's start by opening up Minecraft. Sorry if that tune's copyright, I hope it isn't. Okay, so I'm going to type my password. And you're not allowed to look at my password. So it's logging in. And then, wait for it, wait for it, BOOM! There you are. It's Minecraft. It's so amazing. Bye. Oh wait, actually, and um, to close it, you just press click. Yeah. Bye. Leave a comment below saying whether you like my new screensaver because it's it's pretty cool. So yeah. Okay. So that is how you do it. Um, and then obviously you can just click produce. And I like to produce an MPEG four. Um. To make it full quality, full HD, uh, and I will change where this goes. So let's see. Um. Okay. So I'll save, save it there, and then we can just click start. 